Hey everybody, it's Shogun, it's 1000 for Duty, and uh, welcoming you back to more episodes of um, Seal Bay Chronicles, the Venetive Edition. Last time I actually did say I was going to um, do all of the quests off camera, except for the biscuit one, but then I just accidentally hit the R button on a monster, and it highlighted Unique Monster. That quest, uh, under, under the definition of Challenge, is indicating these characters, the unique monsters. Unique monsters are basically one of a kind, where there's only one of them in the entire game, and they are much stronger than the other monsters in the field. To defeat a unique monster, you will be rewarded with a better quality item. This is a Ferdent uh, Blucau, I think is how you pronounce it. We are actually going... To fight it because the music is a lot different okay the enemy is toppled Oh, the music has changed because we've actually had an ally faint. So there we go. That actually shows just how hard it is to actually fight unique monsters. And guess what? Incapacitation. If a leader is incapacitated, you will return to the previous landmark that you actually uh, visited. When a leader's HP reaches zero, or the leader falls from too great of a height, the party will become incapacitated. You will be returned to the last landmark visited. And, achievement! Come on, cheer up! That indicates an achievement that you've actually got for dying for the first time. <laughs> kind of silly, but... Yeah. Anyway, um... Oh, target's in there, okay. Uh, right, so let's change the time then. To, say, 10. Wait, take Marsha's biscuits that you wrote. Okay, hang on. I'm going to do some research real quick. Uh, hopefully that the internet is not going to be too slow. Because I believe... Let's see, Cinema Chronicles Definitive Edition, Biscuits for a Grandson Quest, because I did actually mention that this quest has an alternate approach. Because there is an objective of, um, wait, hang on. It can be received from Marsha near the shop in the commercial district of Colony 9. After this, and another mission are completed, so, uh, another character may offer another request, a big brother's fight. Wait. Oh, there is no alternate path. I must have been thinking too far ahead. Right, okay then, um, right, so, it, oh, no, 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 change time, it actually was 6pm I needed to do, and, uh, he is actually found in the residential district, no surprise there, uh, so we're just going to rush on over there, deliver the biscuits, and then just basically do our best. Right, strong dandelion, uh, little, oh, we actually do need to kill little skeeters. We actually do need to kill them.
I think. Um, wait. We were supposed to kill little skeletons, weren't we? Key to a long life. No, not that. Not that. Uh, we've already done that. Uh, like for me. Light skeeters. Right, little bunnies. Are we actually supposed to kill little bunnies? Over a bonnet. Okay, so actually what's going to be. So I, I think um, that Skeeter we actually defeated wasn't actually the Skeeter I actually was thinking of. Okay. Uh, right, so on our way up. Oh, there's actually a quest here. Oh, a few quests actually. So this actually shows what I was actually on about. Certain quests can only be activated in certain times of the day. So... Uh, that's actually interesting to note. Uh, perforated ore. Interesting to note. Right, okay. Um... So there's a quest happening over here. Wait. Pepino. Defense knife that you can just easily get from the store. And a broken paw. Oh. Okay. Although it's broken, it could be restored and used as armor. Interesting. We'll give you a sweet wasabi. And that's actually an achievement, actually doing that for the very first time. Uh, there are some Colony 9 residents here. We'll just talk to you. Find the spanner. Okay. So do that. Uh, search quest active this. And it's found all the way over there. Okay. There's another quest down over this way, so we'll just... Oh, there actually was a landmark here, and I didn't trigger it off. Okay. Uh, excuse me. I want to talk to you. Yokeless Flamey Egg. Just need to get one of them. Okay. We'll have to remember that. Well, I'll have to remember to do that off camera. That's, of course, if I don't accidentally... Um trigger something else so uh, so we'll just warp here get this guy um oh finally okay yeah we can do that we can do that so that's another search quest for us to do there are a couple of quests down over here They really do pile on the quests here. I would say what's up and I would say the sky, but that's kind of obvious. <laughs> yeah, because I say it's just like having somebody ask the question what what's up as in like um what is up above us or something, I don't know. It's a silly joke. See, uh, Ridge and Toll. Okay. And I knew straight away you were one of those multi quest guys. What's up? Of constantly defeating a ton of enemies. Okay. That. I keep pressing X and I mean to press Y. So, Gem and Stall will warp over there. And then just head down this way because I think. Yeah, over here. Desiree. Uh, I've been looking everywhere for you. 
You've broken your watch. Looks like he's in pretty... Okay. Right, so, here... We receive her item, so now we're going to warp over to Shulk's workshop and do this quest very quickly. Oh, we actually can still talk to Fiora. All right, okay. Having got the right pass, need three blue chains. We actually do have three blue chains. That gosh, I'm doing it again. I gotta make sure to get there fast because certain NPCs actually do have like a time fixation where under a certain time they actually will enter doors but if you rewind time they will stand in the same spot where they always will be kind of thing. And I actually just noticed something there. I'm going to have to like bring up the whole affinity chart. Uh, right, so do that. Oh, muscle up too. Blossoming friendship. And again, an affinity coin too. Okay, nice. Uh, wrong menu again. Right. Let's see. Affinity chart. Party. Here we go. So you notice Fiora um, doesn't have like much of an affinity between Shulk or Vine, but between Vine and Shulk, their affinity is actually proving to be really decent. So if we have, so what's actually kind of good is that it actually does mention um, what each character likes. So Shulk. Likes tinkering with machines but dislikes vegetables, which is actually kind of awkward because Fiora likes vegetables and dislikes delicacies. Whereas Vine likes energy aubergines and dislikes fruit. So if we have. Oh, right. Wait, choose the person's recipe? Oh, right, okay. So we can't send a gift to Fiora because Fiora is not in our party. Right. Interesting, okay. So that is definitely something to take note into consideration. Um, that uh, Blossoming Friendship scenario is actually um, something that is helpful for you for when you're actually wanting to search Heart to Hearts. Right, so there's this guy here. Thinking of making some kind of trap for catching insects. Alright. Well, I, did, I didn't actually see what he needed, but apparently he already had them. Wait, what, what, what? Oh, King Squeeze, okay. Regnus Boots. Okay, so they raise Shulk's defense by 11, Ether by 2. Uh, oh, whoops. Okay, so it actually raises Ryan's stats by a bit. So we can do that. We'll give you a Pierre Dragonfly. Let's have a look, see what else you've got. Red letters, okay, yep, yeah, not interested. So here's the spanner. Okay, 
I wish there's actually a faster way to just load up the quest log without actually literally accepting the quest sort of thing. Education minus Susanna, we already like looked into that. Uh, monster quests, let's see, challenge, material quest, collection quest, search quest, here we go. So far, we've actually already played about nearly 10 hours worth. Right, so warp over to the main entrance. Apparently he was behind Dunban's house. Okay. What now? Okay, that's pretty much it. Right. So, let's change the time to the daytime. And... Finish up that biscuit quest. <laughs> Swimming sandals. Okay. What do you actually have to trade? A strong dandelion. Okay. Um, not needing that. No quests going on, so... Uh, oh! Yes, there is. Yes, there is. That, that's it. Keep doing that! I actually kind of find it silly how I did say I was going to do that biscuit quest thing and then do something else off camera kind of thing, but I'm actually kind of amazed how it took me 16 minutes just to complete that biscuit quest. <laughs> Because I got too distracted doing other stuff. Uh. Right, it's a bit of a habit of like, right, okay. Fine, Miller's somewhere in the commercial district, okay. Right, we'll do... Shulk, you can't even jump over a small cliff. Right. Stop pressing Y on the means to press... Ay, ay, ay. I actually said stop pressing Y when it's meant to say X. I was actually meant to say the other way around. Stop pressing X when meant to press Y. Uh, oh, there he is. He's down there. Um, okay, Miller, what do you have to trade? Colony shoes, ether defense of one, and a moon flower. Right, okay. Doing it again! Only there was a fast pace thing. It's almost like you wish that you actually got a bicycle from the Pokemon um, games. Uh -huh. Right, I didn't actually ask what you have to trade. Lightweight driver, which is actually not good. And you also have to sell the uh, Perforated ore. Yeah, that's actually not good. Two characters selling the exact same thing. Alright, well, we might as well just finish up the whole uh, completing the quest business. So let's warp over to the main engine and just defeat some enemies. Oh, these are little skeeters. I thought they were light skeeters. Dawn High Drain, uh, drain Gear. Okay. It's a handbook. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. 
A collectible that's actually highlighted would indicate that we can actually pick it up. Oh, giant hornet, okay. There we go. Wow, synchronized that in order there. Stiff hair. Once again. Bonnet paw, small bonnet crystal, and nine shoes. Right, okay. We can actually have a look at those uh, collectibles we just a second picked up. I mean, here, this is actually sort of interesting to say the least. You can actually have a look at all of these items that you picked up and actually like put them onto your characters, actually have a change of appearance. But what is actually interesting is you can also change how they look with the current gear that they have on, which is interesting to say the least. Um, I didn't actually have a look at the gear that I just a second picked up, but it doesn't really matter because we're actually at the end of the episode anyway. Um, so this time, without any distractions, I will actually complete all of these quests off camera. Since they are just the majority of killing a certain enemy, grabbing a certain collectible. But just an interesting note to actually say, we got, so Rich Antol is Colony 9, so Colony 9, all over the joint. But we got an enemy in Tefra Hill. Uh, the end the uh, unique monster that I tried to battle but I failed and also that unique monster we've also got this in magmail room so there are basically certain um, enemies that can only be defeated in certain areas the areas of magmail ruins we are definitely going to be going to that area in the next episode all right so next time on Cinderway Chronicles Definitive Edition, we are going to proceed in the story as I finish up the uh, side quest off camera for good this time. See you guys then.